Alright, MTG next door. I am recording this on Wednesday night. I think it's Wednesday night. Um, I bought these, uh, I bought six of these. Um, they came from Target. It was the night before Thanksgiving. Uh, if y'all don't know, Target puts all of its stuff out the evening before Thanksgiving uh, so that when Black Friday rolls around, it's already on the shelves. Um, these are a mystery. Uh, these boxes have not been reprinted as far as I'm concerned. As far as I know, when this was originally, originally released, these hanger packs did not show up at Target. Uh, I was pretty regularly scanning the shelves, and then all of a sudden they show up a, um, <clears throat> a long, long while later. I suspect they had them in their warehouses and were just holding them for, uh, you know, a Christmas product, jumpstart, get into magic, you know, it's, you know, for new players. Uh, looking on the back, the... Let's see, is there a date back here when they were printed? I don't see a date. I might be missing it, but I don't see it. These were made in the USA. Um, yeah, I can't, I don't see a date back here. But anyway, for 17 bucks, I got four packs of Jumpstart. That's pretty good. Uh, after tax, that comes to about $4.50 a pack. Uh, going rate on the market for open packs, or for loose packs right now is about nine, 10 bucks. So I'm thinking I did pretty good, but this product's hit and miss. Um, we're gonna do a bit of an education here. I'm going to have to cut this thing open, I believe. So we're going with a different knife for the, uh, I'm gonna do this over here on a harder surface so that we can uh, do this together. Um, this is gonna be an education for both of us, I think. Uh, just, uh, and I can't get these out of here. With, all right, so I got one pack out. There we go. Sorry, Sloppy's channel on the YouTube. Uh, so I got one pack out. Uh, let's see what we say here. These are thick, thick ass packs. I don't want to damage anything, but yeah, made in the USA. I don't see a date here either. Um, typically, yeah, there's just made in the USA, 21 cards. That's about it. So, you know, that's. It's time to crack the sucker open. I'm getting all the packs out just so I have them sitting next to me. Oh, wait, there's something back there. Welcome to Jumpstart. Jumpstart's a quick and easy way to build two magic decks and just start playing right away. Let's jump in. And then it's got some instructions on how to do this. It does not tell you how to play magic, though. So that's messed up. Maybe there'll be some cards inside these packs that will tell us exactly how to play the game. Be super careful when we're going through the packs. And, okay, well, these are sealed twice. That's weird. Okay. Oh, seals come off pretty easy. <clears throat> so, from what I've seen, three minutes in to my bumbling to get these cards out, okay. So the top card, which is hiding the rare, I think, uh, shows you what you're playing. So you see the number in the corner? No, the corner says thir Rogues 32. There are a lot of variants on these. I think there's four different Rogues decks, and there's, yeah, I think there's somewhere in the neighborhood of 40-something variants on these. Um, they're prefab, as far as I know, but there are rare ones, and there are really rare ones. So we'll flip through. I'm guessing these will be basic lands. Yeah. So the lands are M21 lands and they are numbered as such. Let's see what we got here. M21, M21, M21. This is all junk. Oh, here we go. So here's your uh, one land that is numbered in the corner. There are 78 new cards, I think, in this set. Anything above 78 that has the jumpstart symbol on it is a reprint. <clears throat> so we'll keep these in piles, I guess, uh, of, I'm going to try to keep them together. I don't know if we'll ever do anything with these guys, but I think each one comes with one specific jumpstart new land. And yeah, so here we go. Here are these, these are the jumpstart, uh, common weird lands thriving more. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped as thriving more enters the battlefield, choose a color and other than black and then tap it to have it be one in, in that color. So. <clears throat> they're tap duels, but they're tap duels with a little bit of a, a, you know, a bonus to them. So in three, four color decks, that's not too bad. Uh, I am only going to read the jumpstart cards that are new. 
uh, and the rears, and uh, we'll do it that way. So this is Nocturnal Feeder. This is a jump start card. This is a common two and a black for a two one. Vampire Rogue flying. When Nocturnal Feeder dies, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. That is bad asked for um, aristocrats. I mean, that is that's in aristocrats. That's a freaking rare. So I like that already. What else are we getting here? Another jump start, but there's a reprint, Nightshade Stinger. So I guess I could read these two. Eh, it would take us forever. These are 20 card packs. Whatever. It's a Nightshade Stinger. It's a one, one for one flying, can't block. Last Gasp, it's another reprint. See, look in the corner there. It's got the number, but not out of anything. That's, that's, these are the reprint cards. So instant, uh, target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Uh, another reprint, Lawless Broker, two and a black for a rogue, three, two. When it dies, put a one, one counter on creature control. Corpse Hauler, sack it for two and a black. It's a two, one for one and a black. Uh, sack it and return another card from your graveyard to your hand. Mask Blackguard, I don't have to read that. That's M21. So yeah, we do get those cards in here. There's M21 reprints. Uh, another M21, this is Alchemist Gift. We opened up enough M21 on this channel for me not to have to do that. I'm gonna move the camera forward a little bit so her boobs are right in the middle of the screen. Uh, so Stab Wound, there's an uh, Jump Start Uncommon reprint. Uh, Rogue's Gloves, that's uh, two for an equipment. Whenever it deals damage to a player, you may draw a card. So equip two. Uh, Una's Blackguard, very, very um, um, uh, highly played back in the day, reprint. So it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and a black, flying, and each other rogue. And it's battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And whenever you're, you're a creature control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, deals combat damage to a player. That player just cards a card. And our another uncommon reprint. So this is Corpse Traders. So it's a three and a black for a three, three, two, and a black for sacrifice a creature. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a card from it. That player discards a card. And we're down to our rare, or I think there's one rare per pack. So let's see what we got here. It is a rare and is a reprint. What did we get? It's a one, one something. Thieves Guild Enforcer. So wah, wah. <clears throat> I'll read it though, since it's the rare. Uh, one for a 1-1 one, one human rogue, flash, whenever Thieves Guild and Borsher or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild and Forcer gets 2-1 in Death Touch. So, yeah, they're trying to mill, I guess, in this very limited format. But, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, 20 cards. So, there you go. Rogues. Can't see that. Let's put it over here. Get the knife out of the way. All right, where do I put all this junk? Pack number two, pack number two. We're getting through to you. And we got the second layer of protection. Second layer of protection. What do we got? Feathered Friends. So, bird deck. Uh, looks like we're not really starting off to a great start here, but whatever. M21, M21. I, I mean, I bought into these knowing that it was a total shit show. It was a crapshoot. Um, maybe I'll get a Tiny Bones. Maybe I'll get the Allosaurus, you know, uh, elf thing. Who knows? So here's the land for Jumpstart. Uh, it has got a bird on it. So there you go. It's got a bird on it. I wouldn't be shocked if someone was collecting these lands. Uh, I don't think they're making them in foil, so I would imagine that just... Somebody wants to play a bird deck and put nothing but these bird lands in it. So M21 Celestial Enforcer. Uh, here's your Thriving Path. So it is your white Thriving Path. I wouldn't mind having one in every color. Uh, Moment of Heroism is a reprint. So one in a white for a instant. And target creature gets two, two, and lifelink. On two end of turn. There's another reprint, Healer's Hawk. So Flying Lifelink, one, one. Reprint a... Uh, <clears throat> Aerial Assault, uh, two and a one, two and a white, sorry, for sorcery, discard, dis destroy target tapped creature, you gain life for each creature you control with flying. Y'all might be, if you're not um, Doc or Mr. Pink, you might be asking, why the hell is he opening Jumpstart? Well, I asked. I have another box of um, Commander Legends, and it was unanimous, unanimous? Well, however you say that word, they both said open some Jumpstart, because I think we're all tired of looking at Commander Legends. 
uh, M21 Gale Swooper, uh, M21 Warded Battlements, M21 Concordia Pegasus. Uh, here's your reprint for the Sky Tether. It's an enchantment. One for enchant creature. It has defender and loses flying. Uh, okay, here's another. Here's your one of the uncommons. So Dauntless Onslaught, two and white to reprint. Instant up to two target creatures. Each get two two ones on the turn. <clears throat> Falcon or Adept, M21 reprint. Want to stop me before I get to the rare. Uh, Avon Gaggle Master is a M21 reprint. And what do we have for our friends? Oh, look at that. I must have done that. I was opening it. No. No, it was, it was sealed up. That's just sorter damage, I guess. Uh, we got a rare 3-3. Three, three. It looks like, if you look at there, it looks like it's a rare from the new cards. So let's see what it is. Steel Plume Marshal. I don't know if this is good or bad. Let's see. Three, a white and white for a bird soldier. That's a 3-3 three, three flyer. Okay, I'm almost on board. Whenever Steel Plume Marshal attacks or other attacking creatures you control with flying, get 2-2 two, two until end of turn. If you're in birds, that's pretty flippin' awesome. Wow. Yeah, so you just, you just became a 6-5 a, a flyer. Huh. I have to think about making some bird decks here. There you go with that one. We got two to go. Two to go with packs of ho. Uh, these are kind of tough to open. I mean, not to mention that they're, you've got the inner seal. Uh oh. Uh, this inner seal is broken. If you look on the. Oh, wait, that's a pull tab. Okay, yeah, that's a pull tab. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm always looking for defects in the shit. Like, that's, dude, that's what I do. That is my job. Uh, I look for defects in code. So, M21, 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 having some fun. Where is our, there we go. So, yep, each one of these is going to come with a land that is specific to Jumpstart. So, there's your Jumpstart land. And there's your red. So, we're, we're, we've got three of the five thriving lands. Uh, if y'all are interested in these, once I'm through opening all 24 of these packs, let me know. Uh, I don't know how much they're going for, but I'm sure I'll get five, my five, and then we'll be done. Uh, reprint, Thermal Alchemist, one in red for a 0-3 Defender. Tap it, it deals one damage to each opponent. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, untap it. Not bad. Uh, this is a new card. Lightning Visionary. So, uh, how do I know it's new? I'm going to over-explain it. Look in the little corner there. Yeah, 22 of 78. So, one in red for 2-1. Uh, Minotaur Shaman has prowess. Okay. Got to have the prowess. Uh, so, Kill and Fiend. Not reading that one. It's a reprint. If you don't have Kill and Fiend, I'm sure... Just shut up. Uh, Hungry Flames. Uh, don't remember this one. Two and a red... Uh, for an instant, it deals three damage to target creature and two damage to target player or planeswalker. So you're getting five total damage out of three. I don't hate that. Uh, M21, Thrill of Possibility. Shock. Crash through. Uh, we're in the uncommons. We got three, four uncommons. All right. Uh, Heartfire Immolator from M21. Uh, Kinetic Auger from M21. Uh, Chandra's Pyroling from N21. Uh, and we've got a reprint, double cast, two red. For sorcery, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Well, that's pretty good on this one back here. Where'd it go? Yeah, so you pay, what, five, and you get to deal 10 damage. It's not too bad. Let's see what we got in the rare slot for. Oh, I even looked for spell casting. Okay, we were in spell casting. Look at her. Ugh, completely undateable. All right, what do we got here? We got a mythic. A mythic, and it is from, it is in first print mythic, so it is from the set. So let's see what it is. Immolation Gyre. For a red and a red, for a gear, however you say that stupid word. For red, red sorcery, immolating gear. Deals X damage to each creature and planeswalker you don't control, or X is number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. How badass is that? Um, I mean, so it's a board wipe for everybody but you if you're in an, if you're in a sorcery uh, and uh, instant deck. So I like it. 
That's nice. Uh, nice to pull a mythic in here. So we got the robes. We got the feathered friends. And last but not least, I'll turn it over this time. So come on, cut through this shit, dude. I got to sharpen this cheap knight if I got to a flea market when I was a kid. Breaking through the seals. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let's reveal what we got because I've been doing this sloppily. Uh, Teferi. Okay. So does that mean there's a Teferi Planeswalker in here? I, I don't know. I doubt it. Um, but it's the only one to call out a specific card in all four of these. So these have been subtypes, and this is a dude. So let's see. I'm excited. We might get a Teferi. I think. <clears throat> anyway. M21, M21, M21. Sorry, mid-video, I hit the 10-minute mark there, and my monitor is on sleep. Oh, here's here's nice little... Cotton candy Mickey Mouse artwork there on the M21. And that took the place. Ah, oh, that took the place of the special land. Are you shitting me? Oh, okay. Now I'm really mad. I should just tear this up on film, but it might be worth something. <laughs> Not worth anything. Uh, M21 Teferi's Proje. Oh, there it is. Okay. Didn't take the place of it. Got it. Okay. Oof. Uh, we've got a reprint Sage's Rose Savant. One in a blue for a 2 1 Veldalkin Wizard, and it enters the battlefield you can try too. Another reprint, Prescient Chimera. Three blue blue for a 3 4 flyer. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, scry. One. Uh, reprint, Leave in Dust. This looks like Kaladesh. I hated Kaladesh, so I'm not reading it. Uh, M21 Valdalian Alchemist. Opt. Opt. What? You got reprinted in this set too, Opt? Poor Opt. Teferi's Tutliage, uh, Tauran's Invocation. This is a reprint from not too long ago. Create two blue Drake creature tokens with flying. Unfortunately, you're, you're starting kids out playing this new set, and you've got cards in it that make tokens. That's not confusing at all. If you've played Magic forever, it is to someone who just opened this sucker up. What the fuck's a token? There's no game instructions in here. All right, exclude. So two and a blue for a counter target creature spell and draw a card. There you go, Doc. There you go. Have you got that counter spell in your I have a million counter spell life? We got three more before we see the title card again. Talarian Kraken from M21. Oh, we got, we got two rares? Wouldn't it be funny if it was rare and a mythic? Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight, two blue blue enchantment. If you would draw a card except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Wow. Uh, yeah. What's that card? Concordant Sphinx, where everybody, whenever anybody draws a card, you draw two cards. Consecrated Sphinx. So now, when everybody draws a card, you draw four cards? Right. <laughs> uh, let's see what our card is. Is it... Oh, it is. It is a Teferi. Look, Mythic 3, Blue, Teferi, Master O Time. Oh, so look at that. So if you get the pack, I'm guessing, with the Planeswalker featured, guess what? You're probably getting the Planeswalker. Okay. I have not watched many of these box openings. So is this the one that gives you extra turns? Let's find out. Two blue blue for three uh, uh, loyalty Planeswalker. You may activate loyalty abilities of Teferi, Master of Time. On any player's turn, any time you could cast an instant. That's not fair. I do remember this one and thinking that's not fair when I read it. Uh, so plus one, draw a card, discard a card. Minus three, target creature you don't control phases out. And then minus ten, take two extra turns after this one. So I drop this, three, do the draw thing. Hopefully I got blockers. I, sh I don't really have great blockers in this deck, but hopefully you could defend him. He goes to four. Next player plays, goes to five. Next player plays, goes to six. If you're in a table of four and you get this guy out turn four, next player plays seven. Your play, by the time he's on your turn, he goes to turn eight. If you're alive, the next time it comes back around to Teferi, you minus 10 him and he survives, you get to take three turns in a row. That seems unfair. 
Yeah, I, I, this is this is an old time planeswalker. It makes you feel like Jace, you know, the old Jaces. Uh, it's probably pretty good. Uh, I'll get the prices on the board. Maybe if I can not slop this up when I uh, edit this tomorrow, I'll put a total on here somewhere to see if we lost or made it any money in this pack. Not that I sell them, but anyway, there you go. Jump start. And as usual, God damn you, COVID. <laughs>